all right guys welcome back to my channel and don't forget before i start you need to press that notification bell right now and please don't forget to subscribe because you know what's going down you already know what it is it is your boy chaotic vlogs and today we're gonna speak about a lot of funny stuff um, i realize i'm gonna keep dumb and smart at times it's gonna be completely useless and silly and you're gonna laugh about things that you are already known about or you don't so now we're gonna talk about you know um I was thinking <clears throat> just just uh, today I was uh, laying on my bed and I was thinking about um, just my relationships and how many relationships I'm going through and I'm thinking oh wow so my first relationship was in high school and that girl that I first dated in high school uh, we just kind of got along and um, you know I was really fond of this girl she was uh, beautiful and everything uh her personality was amazing uh but she was just a little bit too fat for me and um she was walking around with me and everybody was calling her um mama as if i was because i'm short you see i'm short so she was tall she was a little bit taller than me and she was chunky and she was huge and people were laughing at me saying ah, look what are you doing dating this girl what are you doing man she looks like your mama bro she looks like your mama you know <laughs> and me i'm just like well i don't i don't really care because i'm in love you know uh, love is is uh does not really ch pick uh, or choose uh, the the type of the body body index that the person has love is just about a feeling love is a feeling that you feel it's not about what the person is um is wearing or the person is doing uh once you love somebody you know it's 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 a different case um uh, but in, with that being said, I, I I wouldn't fall in love with somebody from the streets who is uh, half naked and doesn't wear clothes or shoes and they stink like junk. No, I wouldn't do that. Okay, I, what I'm trying to say here is that this woman, she was well dressed, she smells good, her family is wealthy, rich, her body uh, was clean and her face was beautiful, her smile was very talky and touchy, her eyes were blue and her hair was very long. She was just a little bit fat and i saw all that but because of her face and her beautiful personality and the way she carried herself she smelled good one of my friends his name was i'm gonna say his name was tati tati was very fond of this girl they were good friends and tati would come there and smile and say oh my god there is kata there is kata there is kata 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 hey kata you two you two can get together you two and uh, and 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 uh, for me at that time, uh, I didn't really know much about girls because I never, I have never been involved with a woman my entire, well, life. And she, I was the first really, so I kind of um, think I I I I lost my virginity my, to this beautiful girl and. Um, people teased us because of our relationship. We were in there for five years. Now, this relationship was not a complicated one. This was a straightforward relationship. It was love and it was real and it stayed there. It stuck with us and we hung out. We did a lot of stuff. We even did some stuff in the car. We would go in the car and do some stuff. It's just so like uh, out of this world. Like it was just really good. And um, until one day, uh, she uh, <laughs> despicable me, <laughs> despicable her. Uh, she, uh, I said some funny jokes throughout the relationship after three and a half years of being together, almost four. I said some funny stuff. We were having arguments and she went out. I told her, I said, why don't you, uh, come and have like, go and like sleep with some of my friends or something or whatever. Because then at that time I was already being mischievous in the relationship and she's already had it. And she has, she has already been seeing other guys because of, of reasons. And then she went and. It was when I got one of my friends and all that kind of stuff, and uh, you know, uh, relationship was going downhill from there, and that's how it all ended. But uh, you know, that was just a phase, you know, uh, and I believe that it's a phase for everybody to go through. So, <clears throat> and for me right now, I was sitting on this bed, on my bed, um, and I was thinking also, <laughs> I was thinking, God, I've already been out here, I've been out here by myself for almost, uh, almost. Four and a half years. Four good years, okay? Now, imagine being by yourself for four good years. You don't have... You never had a girlfriend for four years, five years. No girlfriend. 
Uh, you've never actually, you, you, you don't really have cuddles. No one comes to cuddle you and give you squishy squashy and kiss you on the neck. Because your mother, your mom can no longer do this thing for you, okay? Your mom, our, our mothers are amazing, okay? Let me just cut it here for you. I'll cut it here for you. Our moms are amazing. Our moms gave us kisses and cuddles. They breastfeed us as we were kids growing up, babies from, from age zero to six months and past that six months. You know, after you hit five years stage, you no longer play with mama breasts. I didn't, I did, I did not have my mama's breasts uh, after, you know, after two years. Two years, I was no longer on my mama. I was thinking of mama's breasts, okay? I was on that stuff, okay? So, you can imagine. I became very independent at a very young age. So, moms have done what they could. They've hugged us, they've kissed us, they've slept next to us, they've cuddled us when we were kids. But at this stage... You know, uh, there are things that your mom can no longer do for you. It's only your girlfriend. So I've been sitting here thinking about saying, well, for four and a half years, just imagine not having girlfriends, not having these kisses. You see, we we intend to lose touch with ourselves. You understand? We tend to lose touch with ourselves once things like this happen. So what I'm saying is, you know, uh, I asked God, I said, God, when, am I, when are you ever going to give me that perfect girl, that perfect woman for me? When are you ever going to give that to me? I, I, I want my perfect wife. But I realized, I'm like, there is no such thing as perfect in a human being. A human being is a perfect creation of God, but there's nothing perfect about us. We have a lot of things happening to us, a lot of things going on with us, okay? Either it's psychologically, or it's mentally, or, or, or it's, it's it's bodily, or it's, it's you know, uh, there's something wrong with our legs, or arms, or, you know, our body, or, or taking medication or whatever the issue is. I say, God, I know that there is no such thing as a perfect person. But this is the funny part. If I'm going to have somebody, I don't care. I don't really care how the person looks like, but there's got to be a few things I care about, right? The woman that I'm going to have, she doesn't have to be perfect. But, oh God, please make sure her booty is nice and tight and her waist is skinny Oh God, please, and her face is nice. I want a beautiful face woman with beautiful eyes and nice lips with a beautiful body, at least, okay? If she has some other issues like medical problems or psychology problems, I swear to God, we can work on that. We can fix that. If she got to take pills to make herself feel better, I don't mind about that. As long as she has a beautiful body, beautiful waist, beautiful tight tights, beautiful lips and nice beautiful hair and she smells nice and she knows how to take care of herself and, and, and she wears good clothes she has a sense of fashion she knows how to cook she knows how to clean the house oh my god she can wash the toilet one of my way come back there's food on the table because i would bring it up because i will be bringing her presents from work i'll go to the shop and i'll be buying her some stuff i'll buy her some gel buy her some hair cream buy her some products i'll be buying her all this stuff and bring it back for her because i know when i come home there is something being done for me so in return i'll be doing the same thing now we as men i tell you not just men i reckon we intend to lose touch when it comes to romance a lot of people lose touch when it comes to romance you know a lot of sex a lot of having sex with different multiple people i'm not saying that you know like you know, like as it, like having sex here and there every day. No, just having sex with somebody you're not married to, or you you're not you don't have intention, good intentions to be with, or to do. just having sex in regularity with different people. Okay, takes away, takes away that power, strips away that magic. Okay, that magic that bond that, that, that bond usually that romantic bond okay it strips that away from us so can you imagine having sex with multiple people for so many years and you've never had a romantic life after that you just all been having sex trust me something is being taken from you being stolen from you so i'm telling you i thank god that my mind and my heart are still working otherwise i would have lost touch of my romantic life so I asked Carla to say, please make sure she's she, she has a beautiful, perfect body. At least if she has a mental problem or psychology issues that we can work on, I do not mind. It's better than having a woman who has a, like a really fucked up body and she's overweight and her ass looks like a drop sack and then her eyes are, or something like a teeth is missing everywhere or her, her ears cut off and 
that's just too obvious okay it's too obvious this is comedy.com that's just too obvious and and if anybody's here sitting i don't want you guys to be upset this is comedy a lot of comedies are being are being put down but this is comedy i'm just saying it's too obvious that the bitch something wrong with her or something is imperfect about her I want to have a woman who has an invisible problem, but her body and everything is beautiful. But I want to have a woman who, have, who has an invisible problem that doctors can fix. That's it. If if that's what imperfect means, if that what if that's what imperfect, then I choose it that way rather than the other way around. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, and don't forget to watch.